St. John's. For World Book Day, I'm going to be reading you a story which is called Moo La La Cow Goes Shopping. So let's get started. Pete filled cow's trough with water. He fluffed her straw and set a bucket of grain nearby. There you go, cow, said Pete. I'm going to do some errands in town. I'll be back by milking time. Come on, dog, jump in the truck and let's go. It's not fair, bawled cow. I never get to ride in the truck. Moo hoo. Think about it, cow, said Pete. It's a long ride in the back. But cow insisted she sat in the front with Pete and dog. Sour cream, she mooed. Are we there yet? When they got to town, Pete told dog and cow to wait in the truck. I want to get away before that parade traffic hits. I won't be long. I need to buy some shoes for horse. What? Horse has shoes? I never get to have shoes, bawled cow. Moo hoo, I want shoes too. Think about it, cow, said Pete. You might not like shoes. Moo la la, I want those. And Cow pointed a hoof at the shoe shop window. It took a bit of doing, but Cow squeezed into two pairs of glittery red high heels. They had cute peep toes, but they pinched her hooves until her eyes watered. Sweet yoghurt in the morning, Cow bellowed. How does horse stand these things? You can see her wearing her glittery high heel shoes. Let's move along now, cow. The streets are filling up, said Pete. And the missus wants me to buy some dressing for turkey. How come? asked cow. Well, we always dress the turkey for dinner, Pete replied. Moo hoo, bawled cow. Then I want a dress too. She wobbled along until she came to Moomingdale's department store. Good afternoon, madam, said the sales assistant. Might I interest you in a nice floral dress? It's even called Moo Moo. It would be divine on you. No, said Cow. I want that one. Think about it, Cow, said Pete. It looks a little, um, small. But I want it, mooed Cow. So a crew of salespeople buttoned, hooked and zipped Cow into the dress. Holy cheese on a cracker, gasped Cow. How does turkey breathe at dinner, let alone eat? I can hardly move. We really need to get going, said Pete. I just need to get some more shears to trim sheep's coat. What? Sheep has a coat? What kind of coat? Well, wool, of course. Oh, moo hoo. Then I want a wool coat, said Cow. No, Cow, trust me. You will not like it, said Pete. But Cow stamped her hooves and tossed her horns. Moo hoo. I need it. I want it. I just have to have it, she yelled. And with that, she charged up the escalator and stampeded through the china department. She only stopped when she came to a whole flock of wool coats. Moo la la, I want that one, she said, pointing to a coat that already had another wearer. She tottered out the shop in her, in her brand new coat. Merciful milkmaid, she bellowed. This thing itches my hide. Cow, that's it. We must move along, said Pete. By now, Cow was too tired to climb into the front of the truck, and as Pete drove through the town, the traffic slowed. Moo hoo, cried Cow from the back. Moo hoo, my hooves hurt. This dress is too tight on my tummy, and this coat is just miserable. The people lining the pavement stared and pointed as Cow slowly went by. When they rushed the town square, when they reached the town square, a woman rushed up to Pete. Oh my goodness, she gushed. You win the prize for best dressed bovine. But when the rosette was placed on Cow's neck, it was the final straw. Her knees buckled, her eyes rolled, and she fainted. When she woke up, she was back on the farm. Pete filled her trough with water, fluffed her straw, and set a bucket of grain nearby. Oh, Pete, I was so foolish, said Cow. I'm going to stop asking for things that I really don't know anything about. I'm glad to hear that, Cow, said Pete. Now, get some sleep. I need to go get a ring on Bull. What? Bull has a ring? Think about it, Cow, said Pete. You might not like it. And that is the end of the story.
I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.